All right, begin by going to your control panel. And in the control panel, what you're going to want to do is select system and security and then the system control panel. Once in there, go to advanced system settings. And in the advanced system settings or system properties dialog box, you want to click on this environmental variables button. Now in this environmental variables window, you'll notice that the top area is for user variables and the bottom area is for system variables. We're interested in that system variables area. Look for a variable by the name of Java Home. Now if this doesn't exist, you'll want to create it. Click on New. Enter in, in all uppercase, Java Home with an underscore in between. And for the value, you want the complete path to your JDK. Now I've already prepared one and it looks like this. So the complete path to my JDK is as follows. Now if you upgrade your JDK, you simply change the value here. So let's say I upgraded to version 11, I would change that to 11. So make sure that this Java home variable is set and is pointing to the most recent version of the JDK that you want to use. Now once you've done that, you're going to want to look for the path environment variable. Now in the path, you're going to want to click the edit button and you're going to want to look for any entries that are already pointing to your JDK. If you have one, you can either update it or you can replace it with a reference to that Java home variable. And I'll show you mine. Here's mine. And you can see there's the Java home variable. And whenever you use a variable for, uh, for a value in one of these settings, you surround it with percent signs. So notice that Java home is surrounded by percent signs. We then want to add a backslash and bin. Bin is the directory where the Java executable files are. So make sure that your entry in path is pointing to the JDK home slash bin. Notice that all these entries are separated by semicolons. So make sure that you have a semicolon on either side of this. Now again, if you have an existing entry for um, the JDK, you can either update it or modify it. But make sure you don't have two. Make sure you don't have a, a, a Java home and another Java home or a C colon slash program file slash whatever. Make sure that you only have one thing pointing to the bin directory of your Java home directory. All right, once you've done that, you can get out of these windows. And now we need to test that your settings are correct. And here's how you do that. Simply open up a command prompt window and type in Java space hyphen version. And when you hit enter, if you get no error messages and a version number, then you know that your um, JDK is set up correctly. Um, also try it with Java C space hyphen version. Now, be careful. Notice that Java C has a different version than Java than Java. My Java run, this is the Java runtime. It is pointing to JDK 11. But the compiler is pointing to JDK 6. These should match. The reason they don't is that my operating system has auto-updated the runtime environment for me, but it hasn't, uh, and it, but it won't auto-update the JDK. So what I would need to do is download the JDK for this version and run the installer.
begin by going to uh, your favorite search engine, search for JDK, uh, find the JDK uh, Java SE downloads link. So in your Mac, you'll be looking for this JDK download button. Um, go ahead and click that and download the JDK. And when you're done, down here you'll find installation instructions. From the installation instructions, go to the Mac section. And then from the Mac section, be sure you click on JDK 7 installation instructions. And follow these instructions for configuring your JDK. Thank you.